Another player. What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome back to Android 1800. We are here in Crown Falls, which is still a pleasant village at the moment. So just enjoy the scenery as we're looking at a rather small, well, fishing village it is soon because we're going to add some fishes now. Um, we don't have any fish production here so far. So that's one of the things that we want to do as quickly as possible. Up here, we have the blueprints for that already. So here we can now finish the warehouse and then... Yeah, let's say we built four fisheries for now. So in this case here, that should be sufficient for quite some population there. And the fishing boats are on their way now to the ocean, into the ocean there and fishing us some stuff here. Now, I do have a problem right now in Crown Falls and that is that Alonso has arrived here now too. And that means, look at my salvager, it has been damaged quite a bit. Um, I was lucky enough to get my salvager here back now to... Um, back to Crown Falls into my harbor where I do have the defense of one tower or of one cannon But obviously that is just absolutely nuts what I'm doing here right now because Alonso could just take this island here with three frigates Now I for this reason I've sent two frigates here already on their way now to Crown Falls They're arriving there shortly and while those ships are on the way What we want to do is we want to get another island there or at least two other islands here for Crown Falls to supply our big and massive city here then. So Argo, our clipper, is in the harbor of Crown Falls. And let's just add some timber and some steel beams. So the rest of the steam be steel beams that we have. And let's just sail down here with the escort of my two frigates. And with that, we hopefully should be fine against any attack. It was only really one gunboat, two gunboats that attacked my salvager. So two frigates will definitely be enough for that as a defense. And there my ships are on the way defending my clipper. And also I do have now... Wait a second, other ships coming here. There's another frigate then coming. Uh, more ships are coming now to uh, Cape Trelawn here because this is now our capital. <laughs> it doesn't look like a capital yet, but it is going to be a capital. And Sleepy Hollow is a thing of the past. It's an old town now. And Sleepy Hollow is just, you know, existing in the background there. We're going to beautify it as well at some point. But right now, we focus on Crown Falls. Now, what I can see is we do have a bit of timber, a bit of bricks there. So what I might do now is... Mm, having a look at my production chains here. So Crown Falls is huge, as we can see, you know, there's lots of space. And we do have potato here, so schnapps is perfect. We do have lots of iron deposits. There's nine of them and six coal deposits. That is insane. So we can really have lots and lots of productions there. What I can see here is that one of my f uh, clippers is um, being attacked here. A clipper here that is from Kingsbridge to Port Royal, so in the New World. And there we have a frigate there of Alonso. Those two frigates here are my escort for this clipper here, but they don't seem to be fast enough for this ship there. I don't know, let's throw the timber overboard. We don't need that any longer. And let's just defend the clipper there. And yeah, my they just shoot some volleys there. And as the sun is going down, beautiful. And that should be it for now. Um, my ship, yeah, another ship has arrived in the region with lots of timber on board because we want to speed up the building time here of Crown Falls and while that is on its way let's send the clipper down here we do have an island rather close by which I think I'm actually going to take it's a small one but I can't afford having an opponent so close to Crown Falls here you know so we're going to take this one um, I can see that my ship of the line is now coming into the region as well so the next big ship coming into Crown Falls here we do have steel beams and weapons on board that's very important because we do need some harbor defense. The harbor defense that we can build then with that. Beautiful. And I just love it how my ships are coming into the region now. You know, the, the things with um, my clipper there, my ship of the line, my navy is rolling into that one here. Um, and that one should reinforce our dominance in the region. Now here Argo has arrived on this island here. We do have red pepper and fur here. Both of them I intend to use on this island here. That's fine. So we got it. And we have building resources left for, yeah, for another two settlements or something like that. So let's continue our way down here into the fog of war. All right, and there is another island coming up here now, just in front of Crown Falls. And uh, it's not looking that good. So I think I'm going to leave this one. What do we have down here? We have some oil patches here. Oh, that's very good. Do we have oil here? Nope. Do we have oil in Crown Falls? Yes, we have over here. A bit of oil. Not enough, though. 
We would have oil here. We would have fur, hops, grain here. That could be a bread island. Let's go for this one. Definitely, we do have oil here. Where's the oil? It's here. Oh, it's far away from any beach, right? Yeah, that's a bit of a problem there. We would have to take this turn there. Should still be fine. So let's send the clipper over here and found another trading post on this island there for the oil that we have. And we do have a, a few quests here right now. I'm going to ignore them for now because we want to continue building. Now here on Crown Falls, let's have a few more blocks here of houses. Let's have the fire department coming up. Um, more blocks here and probably, yeah, this block here and this one. Right here. And let's just unload more timber now. Perfect. And then we can just continue here and here. And here and the police let's have the police there too another block of buildings here and here now as we know we do need schnapps and we're close so I think we could have both of these productions here in Crown Falls so we don't have to use any space here because here we're going to have the red pepper and the fur at some point that's going to take up quite a lot of space right down here we have the grain and the bread production and the beer production taking up a lot of space there trust me so in this case here I think sheep farm and potato farms we can both have in crown falls and for that reason we do have that much timber so let's build the first production chain on crown falls that is not some fisher and hmm we might have it far away we might have it there we have the oil so we have to expand over here at some point anyway so let's do it now having the bridge going over there so that we have then the oil production that's very useful and just here we're going to have some sheep farms and stuff like that you know so nothing too serious for the moment there we're going to have the warehouse well let's make the right click that's easier and let's have it here right here and then consumables and then we want to have the framework knitters so i'm going to have Let's say five of them for now. Do want to have another, definitely another warehouse. And never forget, never forget the fire station. Let's have the fire station over here. What do we have here? Iron and iron deposits, two of them, perfect. And here we can have some sheep farms now, so let's do that. Right, there we have the sheep farm and they do need three patches there, so it should be really easy building or spamming a lot of them just like so and another one here then excellent spot for a base camp she is asking my position permission to settle on Stenhausen. Now, I have no idea where that is. So let's settle on this island here before I grant her that, right? Uh, otherwise, she might settle on this one here. Right, so I give her the <laughs> permission. It's so sweet of her to ask that every time. And Bente, we, we actually have to defend her, right? So we should make it our um, goal here, our mission to defend Bente from the likes of Alonso and stuff like that, of that idiot. Oh, it's three already. Very good. So let's have the upgrades here. Um, wait a second. We have seven of them. One, two, three, four, five. We do need two more framework knitters there, right? Oh, no, actually. Nope, 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 nope. We can have many more framework knitters. Right, so there the sheep farms are coming up. The fire stations, the framework knitters, and more of those. Um, warehouses there so we do have seven sheep farms that means we can have 14 framework knitters if we want to but obviously we're not doing that many for now saving a bit on the workforce there as well that should be fine for now it never hurts to have a bit of wool there and having that wool turn into sails so let's also have one and two sail makers and because there are so many more buildings let's have a warehouse here too another one right and the timber we have on the ship so let's unload it more timber for the people and then we can have the second sail or oh, the warehouse and then that should be fine for now 
Um, now that we have sails as well, that's important because we want to have the ships then here and start the expeditions as well. Now what we can do is let's unload the steel beams that we have and the weapons and start with a decent and smaller defense that we can have. So in this case here, I want to have two cannon towers, so the big ones. I'm not going to make any compromises here on my on Sleepy Hollow, so we're going to have two of those big cannons here outside. And they're really powerful, so even they can even take down some ship of the lines there if we want that. As we can see, she is now settling on an island here too, Miss Hunt there, and I think she's taking this one here, but that's fine for me. It's a smaller one. Um, there are down uh, other islands down here, of course, as well. Who knows? My flagship has arrived too. Let's send that to the harbor there. That's fine. Now we do have the work cloth coming in now. Perfect. That's important. We should be producing quite a lot of it. Yes, so we have high surplus there. That's one thing. Um, let's build some bu houses there again because we do have the timber. And let's use the rest of the timber there for our schnapps production. That we can have. Let's see where should we have the schnapps. We can have it up here because it's going to take quite some time before we reach that level here um, with the city. And once that's the case, well then... We can just get rid of it and place it somewhere else. Schnapps is rather easy anyway, and I don't intend to have farmers and crown falls for too long. So in this case, we won't be needing them, those schnapps productions there too, too often or too long there. So let's get the road over there for the clay deposit that we need then at some point and have a, hmm, a warehouse here. All right, and there we can have some distilleries then. Oh. And my clipper has arrived with more timber. Very good. That we need certainly. And let's have a look up here. There we should have now the schnapps. So there it is. And so important to have it. Once again, let's place some fields there. Not too many. As you can see, we don't really need that many of them. And then we can just copy it. All right. So let's have six of them for now. Should be fine. Right, and we can just mirror that then. So when I take them now, and then I just turn it around and put it in there like a Lego puzzle stone or something like that. <laughs> Beautiful, that's it, that's my schnapps. And in this case here, here we have the schnapps distilleries. And in that case, let's start with six again. We do need another warehouse for that. And most certainly, most certainly fire stations. Those distilleries intend or well, tend to explode quite often. We've reached level 35. That is really quick this time. I don't know. I didn't change anything with the global population though. So, you know, the requirements here. So, probably because we have a bigger new world town this time. And let's build it. Let's have some six schnapps distilleries there and lots of schnapps or potato fields that is. There we have them, so 30 seconds to 30 seconds, so it's equal, as you can see, so 6 to 6. And there they are now in all their glory. Producing us some juicy, juicy schnapps there, the crown full schnapps that we need for that. And yes, I think they too have, no, they don't have the better view here, so I think the sheep farm still have the better view overall. Having some happy sheep there is always important, and this is just looking perfect there. There's the sun going down right now. On this fine day, the lightning changes with that. And just over there on the other side, we can see Crown Folds in its beginning taking shape there. Beautiful. Right. So, let's continue. We do have the schnapps. We do have the work cloth. Work cloth is now coming on. So, um, theoretically, we could upgrade now. Doing not, not doing that. Oh, and well, we just improved our relation there with Alonso. And in this case here, let's have... Those blocks, I do like them almost a bit more actually than the other blocks that we have. And place them here. Right, we can actually squeeze them in here with the timber that we have. And probably then here something like that. That's fine. Or should we have... Let's actually make it a three-layered road because we probably might... Or no, let's use it up there. You know, so here we have three-layered because if you remember, we're going to have passenger trains here too. And that means that I would have to have a track here going in there, especially for a power plant as well, if we want that. So we should do that here. Um, then taking that area here and we probably will do it up here then having a three-layered road there. You do need to have a few of them for the train. 
and here we can now have then the marketplace so before i do the marketplace let's see let's have yeah let's have this no let's have some normal buildings there too without any streets to them or something like that we don't always need that you know so it can look like that as well at some point and then a one row here that looks a bit different there and then we have the marketplace and the marketplace in this case here let's have it let's have a little square around it you know a little place around it or around the marketplace there like so and then we have the pop here let's have the pop here more to the outside around this corner here so the pop can then have a little garden around it you know can't hurt to have a little garden here then here we continue with the street and here we have then the marketplace here with a little street connection perfect also on the side and probably here on the other side there too just around it right that's looking good we do need a fire station here too and something like that usually i put around here around the marketplace so the good thing here is the marketplace will then be replaced with passenger um train stations and then we do need the space here so in this case that's just perfect having it here and we don't need to get rid of any other buildings around it then so in this case here we do have then the fire station around it and we will have the police station up here something like that you know so the marketplaces are places of community where everything meets and comes together and here we have the three layered road and that road then here is going to lead right to that river here for the first bridge that we have over there where the water is coming in a beautiful blue water there right that's just perfect and fire station at the schnapps distilleries yes totally right i totally forgot that once again i'm so forgetful sometimes when it comes to those fire stations there even though I should learn at this point. Now, that's that. Um, this block here, having everything here, perhaps we have a little block here around the fire station too, or perhaps we have, I don't know, something else around it then, uh, something like that. And here we can have then more buildings once again, in this case here, probably, mm, yeah, probably something with an entrance. That just might fit in here like so perfect. Look at that, so we have a little entrance then here from the main street. Right away, there we have a little alley then perhaps with some trees. And here around it, around the fire station, uh, the police station. We could then add even a theater somewhere here. Who knows what else we will place here. Now we have that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We probably could squeeze in such a block here too. Yes, very good. That just fits. Um, really nicely there. Um, one thing I think we've forgotten. Yeah, we have to we have to actually take this block here. No. Ah, I see. I did a, a smaller mistake there, but that's fine. Let's take this this block here. All right, and let's place it down here. It's in blueprint mode anyway. Ah, okay, it doesn't fit here anyway, you know, having a street here, would it fit? Oh, yeah, it would actually fit, but let's not do that. Let's keep a, a smaller space here then for some benches and wells and stuff like that to make the river shine a bit there, not spam buildings around it too much. That's that. Here we can still place a few buildings there, I think, so we could have a block like that. Right, not too close to the river there, so let's keep that space open there, that's perfect. And here then around the fire station we can still have a few buildings. So don't forget, well, usually, as usual, those buildings are not set in stone. We are going to replace some of them again later then. And let's just take this block here. And can we squeeze it in there? We could, but that's pretty close there to the river, right? We can make it like that though. That's better. Yes, that's better here, and then we just have some normal buildings here around it perhaps just perhaps with their own little side entrance those guys here and that's the end right and they just have a little entrance here on that side and then we have the river here with the three layered road very good that district is looking fine so far i think at this point here we could yes very good we could squeeze in a variety theater in this point here so let's close it off there we have a little space then for something and here we can just continue with 
something like that would be awesome. Yes, why not? Why not have it like... Yeah, like this. And then we have some trees here or something. Apple trees, why not? Apple trees might fit in there perfectly <laughs> in that location there. I like that. I like the idea of that. And we do have the timber, so let's just build a few more houses. There's the pub. We do need the pub. And some more buildings over here and here. Oh, beautiful. As Crown Falls is taking shape. Do we still have some timber? Yes. Let's unload that quickly. Because we need the marketplace there and the fire station for sure. Um, and... Oh no, we do not have the bricks in this case here. So we do need to upgrade a few people now for the brick production. That's very important. Otherwise, we could stuck on uh, no bricks there at some point. And I want to get some depots up there and they need bricks there. So let's have the first workers um, here in Crown Falls now. Having some artisans buildings there mixed in. No problem. Beautiful buildings. They have been remodeled a bit. The textures are sharper from what I can see. It just looks beautiful. Really, really beautiful there. And this is something I don't like. Let's see what have I done here. That's better. Right, so, so that's that. Now we do have some workers here. Worker workforce is at 59 and growing. So we still need to upgrade a few more of them. Let's have those guys here. And that's the end of it already. Then we have 100. Do we still have some timber? Yes. I shipped some timber over here some time ago. So that's important. And while, now that we have the timber, we can start with our brick production. So up here we have the clay deposit ready right away from start so let's have our market house here just in that location there that's good because here we can have more schnapps distilleries than for those guys here for those potato farms that's the one and here we can have then the clay pit and the brick factory and without a blueprint let's place the fire station there right away so i really don't forget it right that's just really bad behavior on my end and here we have them now the first brick production of crown folds epic right well not really it's rather simple production there but i still love the details people here digging away the clay and then here the cartsmen waiting for the clay and then delivering it to those brick factories here producing us some bricks and then getting it to the warehouse there and those bricks we can use then for paved roads and stuff like that now the first one is finished let's have the second one right away let's see that it's not too far away from anything that i could use there we have the main road connection so let's get it down here and here we can just start with the next one right we do need so much brick so many bricks there so let's just have the next uh production Coming up here, and of course, what we also need here once again is a fire station. Just close to it, we can afford that. Worker workforce is a bit low there now, but no problem. And up here we have limestone, coal, iron. Oh, this is going to be a very good. Your city. Oh, and we have a little epidemic here in Port Royal. Now, Port Royal, we do have the space here left over for some hospitals. We can build if we want to one of them we have one here already so we can squeeze in one more here right there we have another hospital and behind it we can have a few palm trees there in that beautiful port royal town here and there we have a little space there probably very good for a fountain garden which is also using palm trees here in its assets that's pretty cool if you place it here and that's just fitting perfectly right in front of the chapel um, where we have it here in Port Royal but Port Royal is not our goal or not our center of focus here in this episode we still have some buildings up here beside the marketplace let's upgrade those guys here that block here and let's upgrade a few more to workers so we can add those guys here and with that, we've reached the new city stages of Port Town for Crown Falls. As the city is growing, we now have more things here to offer and we can now start them with the bread production on the other island there, while the city, of course, is continuing to grow. And beautiful so far. 